hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session what we are going to learn in this session we will detect human fall with the help of yolo 11 pre-trained object detection model so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today we will detect human fall with the help of yolo 11 pre-trained object detection model so for that first you need to install OpenCV-Python Ultralytics and CVZone on your Windows machine with the help of Thony Python ID. So I have already created a playlist where I have explained how to use YOLO 11 object detection with Windows 11 machine. So watch playlist and then install all the basic packages. So I have done with package installation. So for today's session I have created a new repository YOLO 11 fall. I will mention the link you need to simply copy paste the link inside a web browser. Then go to the code and click on download zip and it will download our zip format repository as you can see we successfully downloaded then simply open download folder and file manager our yolo11 fall main.zip right click winrar and extract our folder so yolo11 hyphen main again same folder and inside that i have mentioned two video file and then we have our normal object detection code so this is what our normal object detection code simple and if you scroll down here so when we detect our object we have rectangle so what we will do here for detecting a fall we will use a rectangle height and width rectangle height and width so rectangle height is basically y2 y2 and y1 rectangle height is basically y2 and y1 so y2 minus y1 we will get the height of rectangle and the width of rectangle our detected object width is basically x2 x2 minus x1 this is how we will get height and width of our detected object rectangle and then if we minus this height and width we will get a thresh value we will get thresh value and when the thresh value if it is less than zero means if it is in minus then we can say that we detect a fall we detect a fall you will get the idea when we start our code so as i mentioned a normal object detection code so if i save the code if i run the code so it will first download our normal object detection model which is pre-run object detection model basically yolo 11 s.pt simple so as you can see friends this is what our video file uh, inside repository i have mentioned the video file so this is one of the video file which i have mentioned so here it is as you can see this person is now standing in standing position so here i have mentioned the normal so inside bash shell inside our shell as you can see the value is i have printing here i have printed here a thresh this is what our thresh thresh is basically height and width as i mentioned height is our y2 minus y1 and width is our x2 minus x1 this is how we will get the height and width and then height and width if it if we minus then we will get the thresh value so i have printed here thresh so now for this video this is the person which is now in standing position and the value is as you can see 257 257 but when the person fall down on the floor as you can see the value is in minus minus means value is basically now less than zero so we mention the condition like this way if the value is equal to zero or if it is less than zero then we have basically minus values so then we can say we are detecting a fall so cvzone put text rec method simply mention the text which is the fall else if it is less than zero else if it is greater than zero then we have simply normal position that's it so let's just start our code as a while loop and let's just start the code so now watch this is normal position as you can see the rectangle red fall here rectangle red fall rectangle red fall detection as you can see this person is standing normal but here we can clearly see the fall detection fall detection fall fall detection 
simple fault detection so we successfully create a fault detection with normal object detection code means we have a pre-trained object detection model so i have here a one more video so inside repository i have already mentioned one more video so this video name is basically fall 2 so let's just mention fall dot mp4 if i start the code here it is as you can see fall detection fall detection when the normal position we have a green color rectangle when we detect a fall we have red color rectangle inside my videos folder there is a one more word three more videos so let me just uh, copy so i will cut and uh, we have our repository inside downloads this is what our repository and i will mention all this video here so we will cross check with these three videos also so let's just start with vid2.mp4 so vid vid2.mp4 if i save the code and if i run the code so watch here this is normal position as you can see normal position when we detect a fall we create the condition with thresh as you can see we detect the fall and fall now again normal position simple so then we have i think vid4.mp4 so let's just check with vid4.mp4 save the code and run the code watch here normal 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 because standing position when we detect fall as you can see both normal but this fall and the rectangle curl is also as you can see the red simple so now we have a last video vid6.mp4 save the code and run the code watch a normal there is no fall so rectangle color is green so we can simply say there is no fall a normal position and now as you can see the fall detected rectangle color is red and when again person stand up there is a normal position so this is our friends most easy way you can detect the fall uh, using yolo 11 pre-trained object detection model i have mentioned the full code also i have mentioned two video file you can cross check i hope you will learn something from this video we'll meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye